guys, my name is Carissa. This is the Fat Girl Flow channel, and this is my partner, Jay. Hello. We are going to be doing an ASOS haul. Uh, we did a little Meet Jay thing um, a few weeks ago. I will link it somewhere in the comments. So if you are confused about who Jay is or why they are here, you can go watch that. Have fun. So ASOS has a um, kind of new line of men's big and tall clothing and that is right up Jay's alley so we decided that we would do a collective haul I ordered a few pieces off of ASOS mixed reviews mixed reviews for sure I was really excited um, I've been eyeing ASOS for a while and I was super pumped to try a bunch of things and now uh, I, mixed reviews mixed reviews for sure some yeah. really great things and some things that did not go as planned yes Jay what size are you in standard women's clothing in pants 30 I would say 30 30 I'm a size 30 in jeans and I don't really know actually I haven't worn a woman's shirt in yeah a very long time what size shirt do you usually order in men's shirts I get a 5x um so the sizes I wear ASOS runs a little bit big ASOS's uh women's curve line runs a little bit big so I am generally a size 26 28 but ASOS size 24 usually fits me perfectly we are going to jump into this. Usually what I do is I'm just like cute and I try it on for you guys and that's because I know my sizes and I'm used to online shopping and Jay isn't quite as used to online shopping and was trying a new store so this is going to be much more of a um, holistic like review of the men's line and also a smattering of me trying shit on because hi it's my channel. My goal was to try t-shirts from the men's section at ASOS because I am lacking in t-shirts. I have a lot of button-ups and I have a lot of like tank tops and these like muscle tees but I don't have just like t-shirts to wear. ASOS does have options on the site that's like 5X and then 5X tall. And it seems like when you order the shirts they actually aren't differentiating between big and tall. Um, it seems like that is actually one size. I'm, I'm not sure really how they're doing it. I might ask their customer service on Twitter or something, but this is an ASOS shirt. It is advertised as oversized, and I think that this is the only ASOS brand shirt to actually fit you, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Well, this is a 4X. So this this was advertised as oversized. I know that we ordered it as long, but you guys can see on the tag, it actually just says XXXXL and it doesn't have that T behind it. And if you're familiar with ordering men's clothing, usually if it is tall, it will have that T behind it. So I'm not sure what's up with their sizing or if they're just calling it big and tall because it is bigger and taller, I, I don't know. This one I was super excited about. I love feminine colors. I love wearing them, especially as a mask person. I think it's fun to like blend that um, and just say fuck it to gender roles. Um, and so this like pink, pretty, kind of reminds me of like strawberry ice cream um and carissa picked this one out um and it's super soft and wonderful yeah it's also so this is by the brand jack and jones and asos carries this brand and we actually really like a lot of the things that we got from this brand but again this is a 5x it is just no tall it's interesting how these were marketed as and like in the size selection options we selected talls and then they came and they were just bigs mm -hmm. so this this fits. It's very cute. It is still not long enough maybe to wear to the gym. Well, and I also feel like I wanted it to be a little bit bigger mm -hmm. and it seems to run a little bit small. Yes. Uh, I, I think, I mean, you mentioned that ASOS or yeah, the women's line. runs a little bit big. Yeah. I kind of think that ASOS men's runs a little bit small. And, and tell uh, me if I'm wrong. But So I've been wearing this shirt for days on end, but this is one of the shirts that I ordered. It's a it's just a shirt that says Coca-Cola on it. I loved it because it looks like trash. It looks like I should be drinking a PBR and smoking a cigarette in it and I'm obsessed with it and I want to wear it like as a dress all summer. And when I took this out, this is a women's size 24. Um, if you look at these two shirts, the women's size 24 is significantly bigger than the men's size 5XL. I mean, I realized that like an, the concept of universal sizing is pretty foreign and I don't think that brands are doing it. Um, but you know, in men's clothing, I wear a 4X. So it's interesting to me that this 
like nightgown. It is oversized. Shirt is bigger than the 5X, mm -hmm. but you know, I mean, it is what it is. God, how great would universal sizing be? It would be really cool. I love this, again, with the like feminine touch of like floral. So one of those baseball tees. I loved it. I was so excited about it, but I could not even get it on. Um, and this, this one, you guys aren't gonna see Jan because it literally it does not fit. fit. I look like a little sausage trying yeah. to like squeeze in there. Um, it's a five XL and could not even get it on. Jay has clothes. Like it's not like this is the first time Jay's ever bought men's clothes. Uh, we just bought, I think like five to ten button up kind of shirts from J C Penney, right? Yeah. And all of those were five X. Yes. And they fit really well. The buttons fit. Everything fit. So it's a little surprising that the ASOS line just like does not fit at all. <laughs> we got a couple things from the Jack and Jones line mm. on ASOS that are so, so cute. This bomber and a Hawaiian shirt you can see over on Jay's blog at comfyfat.com. We like style the whole shoot in it. She did not want me to get the Hawaiian shirt. Um, no, I really didn't. And you're happy I did. Yeah, it's it looks so cute. cute as hell. Yeah, it's really, really cute. Yeah, I like it a lot. I'll link the post in the description box down below, but you guys can see Jay in an outfit that like truly fits them and looks really, really fucking good over on their blog and on their Instagram, which is Comfy Fat Travels. Um, I also got this dress that I am wearing, this little tank dress. Uh, it was super cheap and it's just like, a uh, cotton dress that you wear over bikinis, I think. <laughs> I don't know. It says that or it was nothing. navy, but it's like kind of purple. Yeah. It's a little purple. It says navy, looks purple on the site, took a shot on it. My mom loves purple. Hi, mom. I love purple too, so I'm wearing this for my mom. <laughs> I also got this silk blouse and this is over in an outfit post on fatgirlflow.com you guys can check that out i will link that down below this is such a beautiful blouse i love it I it love looks it. so good on you thanks B. yeah it is like very feminine but i wore it with jeans and like kind of chunky rough looking jewelry and i felt like it looked like feminine but also like i was kind of a boss in mm -hmm. it and yeah i liked it a lot it was very 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 cool very chic look and those titties look real good oh <laughs> <laughs> we got a we got jay a three pack of the asos men's undershirts i love me a v-neck like the material feels so good on my hands mm -hmm. i'm sure i would love wearing it um, but it's so clingy that I'm not going to wear these. Yeah. Um, I don't like when things feel just like so tight on my body. So that sucks because I love wearing a v-neck just like out with jeans or I love wearing v-necks underneath my button ups and they just go with everything. I remember now when I tried this on, I was like, I, I feel like Simon Cowell a little bit. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it was too tight, clearly too tight. Yeah. Simon Cowell's a lovely human being who can wear whatever he would like, by the way. I was so excited to see this NASA, um, sweatshirt thing on there. It's got the blue and the red. I love it. I think it's really cute. This is a 6X. Yeah. It feels good. I would like it to be bigger. So again, I feel like it runs small, but it fits, fits enough for me to wear it Yeah, and feel cute. And again, didn't we order that in a 6XLT? Yeah, it's just 6XL. ASOS, and what is happening? Yeah, ASOS, what's the deal? Why are you promoting things as tall? Which would make us think long. Yeah. And they are not. Why? 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 I mean, sometimes I wonder if it's just because the way my body is shaped. What do you mean? Like if my tummy is shaped in a, in a way that makes sure it's like unable to go down. Yeah. I don't think that's it. I mean, just like that shirt that <laughs> is actually truly tall, it is a true tall and it hangs properly yeah. on you. It's not your body. It's the fact that they put fucking tall. <laughs> on the site and you're ordering things and thinking that it's going to be longer cranking her up and it's not fucking longer it's not your body <laughs> <laughs> the last thing that i got is another of course thing that you're supposed to wear over swimsuits and stuff it's just this adorable little uh striped thing um i ordered this in a size 24 and it is actually too big on me that is how big the women's line at asos runs uh this is huge on me for reference even though i am five inches taller than you i'm five inches taller than jay we wear the same size yeah and i think that it's interesting for people to see how bodies can be shaped differently and how we can all carry our weight differently mm -hmm. and be nearly the same weight and nearly the same size right um so jay and i wear the same size we can wear one another's clothing quite easily a 5x in the men's range 
isn't fitting J, which means it wouldn't fit me. Right. And the size 24 in the women's range is so big that it is too big on me. It might fit me. Yeah, you would look flawless in this baby. Okay, so that's everything that we have. Uh, like I said, ASOS men's line shockingly missing the mark mm -hmm. for us. The women's curve line is always pretty good for me. Um, sometimes things are too big, but I usually don't have the problem that they are too small. So yeah, that is, that's our pair of tragedy. <laughs> I is mean, it a tragedy? it's a little bit tragic. Yeah. I think the thing I'm learning is how to not feel like it's my fault. And yeah. Chris has been wonderful about that uh, because I do feel like really sad when clothes don't fit. I'm sure you guys understand that when you try to put on some jeans or some shorts or something and they just don't go up. Um, and when you're trying to stuff yourself in a shirt, it is not a good feeling. Yeah. So that's a huge bummer. And I am hopeful that in the future, I'll be able to get some stuff for me. So just like we've been talking about, about this whole time I do think that there is there is some responsibility on the company too to be responsible for mm -hmm. how they promote the clothing if you say it's gonna be an XLT it should actually be labeled that on the clothing okay of course go check out Jay's great outfit from ASOS because they did love that James and Jones line mm -hmm. it was it was really fucking killer yeah um, so go check that out on their website comfyfat.com that silk blouse can be seen on fatgirlflow.com Com, and both of our Instagrams will be linked below. Let us know what, what your favorite piece was. Um, let us know if there are other brands you would like us to talk about for men's clothing or more masculine lines. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a men's line, but it could be like a shirt line that's made for non-binary people or something. If you guys know of any of those, we would love to try them. I would them. love to know as long as they have plus sizes. Yes, uh, <laughs> sizes that go up to size 30, honestly, yeah. is where we would like to see um, things going up to. We'd really like to see things going up to size 36, but yeah. 30 is about where we need. Okay, uh, that's it for this haul. Thank you guys for being here. Go check Jay out on Instagram. Oh, also I got a swimsuit from ASOS and that will be in a haul on Tuesday. It is very cute. It's neon. I did like it a lot. It was very difficult to get into. Mm -hmm. So please go watch that haul <laughs> in a few days because wow, that, is, that was a struggle. Until next time, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and we will see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> yes, baby, over the shoulder. <laughs> oh, you can see through that, baby. I can see your nip naps. Your nip naps. Yes, baby. <laughs> Uh-huh.